Ennis, what are you doing here today? We're just touring your yacht, checking out, hanging you know, out with we're you. We're showing big hundred million dollar homes. You want to come see our little humble yacht, huh? There's nothing What's humble the about this. You couldn't break into somebody's house this week. What's up, everybody? It's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode on the second channel. You may be wondering, Ennis, where are you? What are you doing? Well, we are here in Florida. This is Ben Mala's yacht. Now, you may be wondering, who's Ben? Ben is a real estate personality on YouTube that I've been watching over the last three to four years. He's definitely loud, authentic, kind of a character. So I figured, since we're in Florida, why don't we visit him, ask him a few questions, tour his yacht. That's what we're doing today. Enjoy the episode. Literally changing behind the van as Mike is driving us <laughs> because we're 10 minutes late. Is it a tow zone? No. Alright, Mikey, back up. <laughs> You're a real cast of characters. You're yes, regular yeah. United Nations over here. Are you here hiding in this country? No, I'm Are not hiding. hiding. No, no hiding. I have actually EB1 green card. Extraordinary ability. I'm yeah. a three-time world champion windsurfer. EB1. Windsurfer. Yep. Hey, I'm a surfer board man. This is nice, Dal. I am here to show you a $500 million house. I'm here to help people well, obtain that type of stuff. We want to tell your story to you people. You trinkle the trinkets, but I show them how to get the trinkets. This is exactly what I expected. Ben is coming in hot, telling us that we took fancy homes. What he doesn't know, and you guys know, is that we shoot incredible homes, but we live in a humble two-bedroom apartment. Let's mic Ben up. Let's go yeah. tour this yacht. All right, so here we are. This is called the aft deck. Why? I don't know. Anybody know what aft means? Fore and aft, front and rear. Front and rear, aft means rear. He knows a lot about rear. <laughs> All right, so this is where we mostly hang out, you know, and enjoy our cruises and have some nice meals. Turks eat with forks and knives, are you still using your fingers? No, we, we use fork and knives. Let's go upstairs to the top level. You got a sun deck here. We broke the glass in the table because the ladder fell on on our last trip to the Bahamas. But we're gonna get some more furniture out here probably. Here, you want me to show you the grill? Yes, please, yes sir. It's got a cover on it. Rafal, oh, we ain't got nobody here. What do you do? I just, I just watch. Then go over here and take this cover off the grill, do something. That's why you're <laughs> the fattest one around, you do the least, <laughs> like me. There you go. You got a grill, you got a bar, you got another dining area here. You're not kidding, this thing. Has you it know, been even used? Yeah, we use it, you know, we just got back from the Bahamas. You know, it's got refrigeration, ice maker, you know, everything you, you need to have a party, baby. Granite countertops, everything, the whole nine yards. You know, the captain's got all this stuff here. We got more seating over here. If the captain's got to run to the bathroom real quick, he can go down that door. Gotcha. How easy does this thing open? Oh! One finger, baby. Look at that. Leads down to the captain's office and extra control center for when the weather gets bad. We actually, he had to go down there and use it on our last trip because the weather got so rough and it was raining so hard. I didn't want to put all that plastic and glass enclosed in here. I like the fresh air up here. So let's go down to the captain's quarters. I can even fit through this hole, which is very great. Captain's got his own office here. Place to relax. It's good to be a captain in this boat. Jeez. Honestly, this is nice. I was gonna put a cushion there and say, hey, you can even go take a sleep over there and take a nap, but he didn't like that idea. He didn't like it? What is he like undercover or something? He, believe is that, it or not. Is that real? Is that like a, believe I it or feel, not. I look like he's gonna take the hair off. Yeah, believe it the or not. The mustache and beard comes off and it's all a He's scars. my assistant. I literally told him yesterday, I was like, dude. And he's from North Korea? Jesus. South Korea. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice, okay, seriously. People are gonna look at you and think you're smart automatically. Right. You don't need the glasses. That's right. You don't need them. <laughs> you already look smart. Okay, he may look the part of the guy that's on TV, that's all the men in the world. You ever see him smoking a cigar, advertising the tequila or whatever the <laughs> they're doing? You know, he might look the part, but is he really that part? You gotta feel that part. You gotta have confidence in yourself, you gotta love yourself, you gotta feel like you can conquer the <laughs> world. So here we have the salon. Most of the time you spend time here, you know, if you have a formal dinner, you know, you want to relax at night, the TV comes up here. 
to see that in action. Ben, I got to ask you, someone like yourself, I don't want to say frugal because you value money, but at the same time, because of your upbringing, you now value living good. I'm Jewish, didn't I tell you? I know that. I know that. You know, I, what, a, you know, what, a, you know what a um, Sephardic is? No, I don't know that. Those are the Jews that were in Turkey, the Sephardiks. Hmm. There were no Jews when you grew up in Turkey, was there? I, there was actually a lot of them. I grew up with a lot of Jewish friends, absolutely. You have friends? I don't look like a friendly guy. You look like the kind of guy that people want to run away from. Really? Good to know. You got a wine cooler there. Okay. You have ice maker. This is your bar area. You yeah, know. got it all. Got a wine cooler, ice maker, and some booze. You know, what's great about the boat is all the furniture has compartments in it where you can store stuff away. Take us through that left wing. Here's the galley. This is where they do all the cooking, baby. So here we go. This is also a door here for the galley and people can come in and out. Uh-huh. Look at that. Let the sun shine in. And it's great when somebody's in here and they're, you know, smoking up the place. You, you can get the air out. Yep. Yeah. That is pretty great. You got a nice fridge and freezer with water. Full-size freezer. You know, we got a compactor. Awesome. We got a dishwasher, we got the oven. What else do you need? You're at home. You go anywhere you want on the water and be at home. I gotta ask you, after a week, does it get old because now you're on the boat? Or you when actually- When I'm on like... the water, it never gets old. Gotcha, awesome. Because this is, you feel like you're just away from the world. You got every convenience in the world you need. It, this is what I call high class camping, baby. I love it. Ben, kidding aside, I, I really wanna talk about this because I feel like kids these days are too soft. How Nobody, old are you? I'm, I'm 31. 31? You're yes. still a f***ing kid yourself. I didn't say I'm really old. Why do you think the new generation is so privileged and thinks because they Because they gone? want everything easy. You know, I busted my ever since I was a kid. I ran away from home when I was 12 years old. I was a big 12 year old. You know, and luckily, you know, I had a rough life. I had a rough life in New York. Luckily, I went in the army because I had to. And, um, you know, and then I got into real estate. I worked in some of the toughest places in the world. Uh, it was hard work. But, you know, a lot of younger generation, they don't want to put the sweat and time in. People call me all the time, I want to get into real estate, I want to get into real estate. Well, get off your <laughs> and do this and do this and do that and do this. Because when you're in your 20s, you've got at least 16 hours a day to work. Easy. You got the energy, you got the brain power, your brain is like a sponge when you're in your 20s. You know, you got the physical endurance uh, to do it, you know, so, you know, you can't just be partying. A lot of kids, they want to party, party, party. But when you're in your 20s and then when you hit your 30s, you got to be on your way to hitting a home run, you know? So, because when you hit 40, you want to slow down. You want to start enjoying life. You're tired of getting and busting your ass. You want to reap some of the benefits of all your hard work. And then when you hit your 50s, then you're just ready to say, this. I want to just relax. I'm tired. Here we are. This is the master Jesus. stateroom. This is one of the reasons why this boat beat out all the other boats I looked at. Because number one, it's on the same level. You don't okay? like up and down? I don't want to go down these little skinny stairs. Look at me. You know, and you know, it's nice. You know, and if you have a little too much to drink, you just come down here and you don't have to worry about stairs or busting your butt and uh, you crash. But this room is big. Normally you won't see a stateroom unless you go mega, mega this size. And then look at the view. Amazing. How many degrees is that? Easy 180 and I'm automatic curtains. Automatic curtains. Can we see it in action? Let's see them in action. Ready? You're living the good life out here. You got nice ceiling heights. The only thing is for some reason, mm -hmm. go up to the Chinese. These here weren't included in the power, but there was a reason why they claimed. They made up some reason. What is the reason? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> I think they just forgot and they just said, oh, there's a special reason, so you can just come in the room if it's dark, open it up. I don't know. Ben, this is super nice. You got a nice sitting area. You got a desk to work on there. Ben, someone at your age, after years of working, owning something like this, how does it make you feel? I mean, you work hard your whole life to be able to have the nicer things in life. Look at that, self-closing desktop. So it's it's soft when someone closes it, you they don't wake you up. There you go. There you go. Showing those fancy homes. You can get a job them. working for the company that builds these boats. So the broom is real big, because you know, I'm not a small person, so I like space. Okay. Plus, you know, if I tell her and we get into a fight, 
and she wants me to go sleep on it. Well, I'm not sleeping on that couch. I make her do it. I can't fit on that couch. Typically on boats, you're walking in these little bathrooms. You know, there's some bigger than others. But this bathroom is like a real room. And it has the stairs to go down, so you got more privacy. Ben, this feels like a like a good-sized house. It's That's insane. why I bought it, because it's, it's a house. Everything you need is as is nice as at home. You got oh a nice shower God. in there. Jeez. It's got the rain bird. It's got the guns, you know. You got the body sprays, everything. The body spray. Dual vanities. Two vanities. Closet here, closet there, closet there. You have the restroom. You know, typically you get on boats and everything's cramped up, you know. This is shocking. And I like room. I like space. Ben, I know it's tough for you to uh, see this. We're exactly alike. The way yeah, you just we're alike. Said... I'm fat. You're skinny. There was a boat that I found in Palm Beach that had an elevator, but it really? didn't make sense. So here we have what they call the VIP. Let's see the VIP. I call these the pest rooms. Pest rooms? Instead of guest rooms. I see. <laughs> you got seating. You got a nice big bed. You got a desk over there. You got closets here, his and hers. It's made up for two people to stay comfortable. It's got plenty of window. And the bathroom has his and her sides also, if you notice. This is insane. They have a desk, seating area, king size. How could you not go on something like oh this for a week gosh. or two and be yeah. comfortable? No, absolutely. And then there, you got the bathroom. I mean, look at this thing. That and then it's like, a two, it's like two bathrooms because you got his side and her side, and then they share the shower. You got your rain head sprays, everything. This is incredible. You know, it, it makes it nice because, you know, each person's got their own space. Here we have what they call a double. You put one kid here or a person. You put another one here. They got TV. They got stereo. They got plugs. They got their own bathroom, you know. So how many people you take out on this? Uh... So basically, you could have two people in this room easily. Mm -hmm. You could have two people in the... VIP suite. You, you got four. And then you got another one here that can also hold two or... So you can really come. So we got two, take... four, six guests and me makes eight. Gotcha. Then you still have crew quarters. Oh, we have crew quarters also. Yeah, you want to go in here. This is where the girls stay at. They also have a TV, stereo, their own bath. Gotcha. What's nice, everybody has their own bathroom. This boat actually treats all of the waste that comes from the toilets and processes it so we don't dump anything in the water that's hazardous. This is just some of the controls and power it takes now, to get run this boat. This is just a small portion of it. There's a lot of electronics on I, these boats. I love the lineup of the boat here. Super cool. Looks like that at night. We don't get no subscribers. I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna badmouth the little subscribers we got. I'm gonna talk so bad about your You ain't gonna you have one. A lot of boats, the wall's not this high. Here you can walk around safely. It's got plenty of room for fat people like me. Living the good life out here, Ben. Look at this. This is actually a cover that we put on here. There's actually a nice cushion here. It goes all the way out, you sunbathe on it. Sometimes I'll put a chair out here. You know, my wife will lay out, lay out and do sunbathing. Wow. I mean, but it's a good looking boat too. It doesn't look like your average boat. This is really uh, what they call, it has the look of a tri-level, because you see the three levels, right? Uh-huh. It's really four levels, there's one below here. But it has very uh, strong presence, this boat. It doesn't look like the average boat. See how these boats look? They all look the same, same design. You can't tell the difference between one brand or another. This boat looks like a mini cruise ship. It does have a distant look to it, I hear you. And it runs fantastic. This boat tears it up. We cruise at about 20, we've had this thing cruising at 24 knots, which I think is like 30 miles an hour. Wow. On the water, and we were just cutting through. Ben, how much is it to fill this bad boy up? When gas was cheaper, it would cost me about five to six grand. Okay. Okay, now it's probably seven or eight to fill it from MPI. Gotcha. It, especially if you go to Bahamas. And then how much does that, how far does that take you? Well, it depends. With boats, you know, the slower you go, the further you go on less gas. Yeah. But if you want to go balls to the wall, baby, you're going to pay. 
you got to look for opportunities. There's doors that you can open all the time. You can study, be a license, and, and e immediately anybody can put a decent shirt on, like the penguin one you're wearing, and take the test and walk in. You can, you can dress up and walk in the most expensive real estate office in the whole area, the most expensive neighborhood. They don't know where you're from. They don't know where you live. All they know is that you got a license and you look like somebody that has the desire to join them and make money. All you need is the desire. So here is the best part of the boat. Okay, tell me about it. Because this is the normal swim deck, which is over the hull of the boat. Okay. This right here- Is an extension? Is a hydraulic lift that submerges in the water with me on it, which is very nice. So I have my own deck in the middle of the ocean. Imagine sitting in the Bahamas in clear blue water looking at beautiful beaches and islands, and you're sitting on this boat, submerged in the water, laying down, it's fabulous. This lift is the greatest thing in the world. This is the garage where we keep all the toys. You guys got some lift boards here? Oh, you guys got the good ones, okay. Now we're talking. My favorite toy is this. You just float you on it? You lay out, you lay out. Why you don't try these out, Ben? Because I'm a little too fat, a little too old, and uh, how old are you? 55. 55. 55. Look at these hinges on this thing. All power. Everything's power. Gorgeous, man. Beautiful. You got a shower, I think, uh, over there. You got to wash off. Awesome. I mean, it's just a simple. It's not simple, but it's simple to me. You know, we got cameras everywhere for safety that you can watch everybody. Uh, it's just a comfortable, simple boat, you know, that's not over too big, you know? Right. It has all the bells and whistles and the comfort of a bigger boat without being too big. Ben, the number I've been wanting to, I've been dying to hear from you. What does it take you to run this boat on an annual basis? All right, well, basically, typically in the business, you're gonna pay a thousand bucks a foot per year for a captain. It costs about 3,500 bucks a month to park the boat. Okay. And then you got five grand a month for, you know, uh, labor. So we're up to 8,500. You know, insurance is probably at least uh, a couple thousand a month if you look at about a year. So now what are we up to? You can't, it's 11,000? 11. I mean, those are the basic expenses. Gotcha. Um, I can't think of what else. You got insurance, you got the captain, you got That's the rent. That's not terrible, actually. No. So the thing is, you know, with money being so cheap these days, the reason why so many cars and boats are selling, because you can borrow money cheap. You, could, you know, anybody with halfway decent credit can float a million bucks a year for only about 3,000 a month. Realistically, welcome to America, baby. Welcome to America, baby. I love it. I so love it. let's take a look at the engine room and crew quarters. Let's do it. I don't come down here too much, so I'm a little too big for that. But I can make it. So here we are. The captain has his own room here when we go underway, you know. He's got a nice bed. He's got closet space. He's got storage space. He's got a TV. Oh, we got a toilet here. Look at that. Captain's got a toilet and a sink. His whole private section of the yacht almost. Like he's on his own here. Oh, look at this. When you're underway, you have special locks so the glass don't bounce around. Gotcha. He's got a shower. Look at that gun. Pretty cool. He's got his own kitchen here with a sink there. He's got a refrigerator. He's got storage. Also, all the locks. There used to be a microwave down there, but he said he couldn't reach it all the way down there, so he moved it over there. Gotcha. He has his own Keurig. So he's got a place to sit and get away from us when we piss him off. Come down here, we got laundry. Gotcha. And then the crew, you know, if we have extra people helping them, they've got their own bathroom. Where's their shower at? Oh, the shower is designed to be in the bathroom. I see. So the same, you know, it's all in one. Gotcha. And they got two sleeping compartments, and that's it, you know, place to sit and take a break. Now we have the power. This is the power room. This is what makes it all work. The muscle to the boat. <laughs> now, you can't have earphones if you want. It's gonna be loud in there. We can handle it. Oh wait, the engines aren't even running. It's just a generator, generator. running. Can you handle it? Can you handle it? Yes. Yes, absolutely. We like it raw on this channel. The captain is very big on a spotless, clean engine room. He insists on it. Because a clean engine room 
is a working engine room. You got two big Detroit diesels here. You will see these engines in bigger boats. We have everything you need down here. Generators, water treatment. We can take seawater, turn it into fresh water. These elevate. Very good. We have central vacuum. We got everything you need. Air conditioning, ventilation. This is the guts, of the, this is it. This is the power. This yeah. is what takes us everywhere. I looked at 100 boats. I'm not exaggerating. Really? Before I bought this boat. Why you looked at 100 Every boats? Every brand, every different size, this was the perfect baby that somebody actually really put a lot of thought in being comfortable here. So where you go on trips, you know, because you get on a boat, you start getting antsy and edgy and you start, you know, you cooped up on a boat working and people working hard on boats. Yeah. You know, with this boat, they made it to where the crew could be comfortable, which is important because when you have a happy crew, you go right through. Nah, that's a... You gotta have the crew. Oh, do you mind it. folding those towels for me while you're down here? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the tour, man. I think it was really good. I'm actually good. shocked how much- Good, get the fanny in now so I can take my family out and have a good time. We got a couple questions to ask you. We're almost done with these guys. We're gonna get these guys the f out of here. I wanna give people realistic, practical advices. Let's say you are Working hard, you get you have a couple jobs right now, but you don't have a ton of money and you want to get into real estate. What are some of the practical, easy, and realistic things these people can get into to build their real estate career? The bank is the most important relationship you have in this world if you want to succeed and, and get wealth because they got the money. And then you take their money with a little bit of your own and you do deals and you find deals and you buy deals and you improve deals and you create wealth. If you live in an expensive city, then they'll loan you more money. Like if you're here in this part of Florida, this guy told me the other day, he said they approved him for like $800,000. Now, is he gonna go out and buy a house? Eh, not if he takes my advice. I told him, do not buy a house. You got plenty of time for a house. Right now, you gotta build yourself. With an FHA loan or even a veteran's loan, if you're a veteran, you can get up to four units. You can live in one and you collect rent from the other three. Cash flow and leverage it. So you're either cash flowing or you're at least at a minimum, you're paying nothing to live there. Renting is your stepping stone in life. Okay. But you need to hurry up and prepare yourself to buy and own something. Everybody needs to own something. Ben, why are you selling it? I know you recently acquired it. The reason why it. is the perfect boat for me to find a perfect house would really only be an 80-foot boat, which they do make comfortable enough for us. This boat is? is 93. I want to kind of shrink down to an 80-foot so I can have the perfect house with the perfect boat and everything fits in place gotcha. without a bunch of money spent and a bunch of complications. Listen, if they don't put out there to go to, go on YouTube and look up Ben Mala or go to benmala.com, then I'm coming to LA and I'm coming after you. And all those fancy houses you're looking at? We're gonna get you in. They ain't gonna be so fancy when I get done with them. He's definitely a personality. I mean, he came in a little loud. He came in straight into our face, but you know, we did what we had to uh, in order to shoot the video. He but he sure did. But uh, overall, they're good people. It was fun. We're here in Florida. It's hot. I don't know. I feel like we talked too much on that video anyway. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and We'll see no. you guys on the next video. No, subscribe to Ben's channel. Forget our channel. Yeah, forget our channel. He will literally cut our balls if you don't subscribe to his channel. So subscribe to Ben's channel, then to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week. Jeez. Dude, one of, one of the yachts that we want to shoot is down there. I called the broker yesterday. He goes, Ennis, would you believe it? Guy wants to sell his yacht, but he doesn't want to put it on the internet. He's like, how dumb is that?